Hey, what's going on guys? Marty Nolan here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, before I start preaching anything ACBA or DIO related, I just want to give some shout outs to, you know, Boog, everybody on the ACBA community. Um, Al Figures, Bob the Odd, everybody on the DIO community. And um, yeah, definitely. So uh, yeah, definitely over the past year, you know, getting into uh, back in the figure collecting and uh, ACBA, you know, there's just so much content, you know, in the community that, um, you know, I just, I just gotta say thanks. You know, John Connor doing his thing, uh, plastic and paint. You know, MTIT. You know, Sling's videos, uh, J uh, Jason Clendenning's videos. Every just so many people that uh, it's just, you know, and it's and it's all there for you guys too. You know, you you new guys kind of getting into it. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna really try to to, to rehash things that I already have been, you know gone through you know especially in in uh you know michael weissman's uh videos you know it, it's you know, as far as you know uh um, cutouts and uh you know the basics the fundamentals of acba and whatnot you know all of that's pretty much covered so um you know i'm just gonna i'm just here you know probably just to show off as of right now in this uh this video you know what i'm working on as far as a uh, dial uh little props that i have um that's that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, as of right now, um, I'm working on a lab dial. Well, I'll give a quick shout out to Mr. Mervin Nenfos. Um, thank you for uh, supporting and purchasing my first dial, and um, you know supporting it and uh, having the kind words that you said on uh, your, la your latest episode of Mato. I appreciate it, brother. So um, as of right now, I'm working on. I had a you know just a lab. Um, it's really in the early stages, so um, I'll give you a quick pan out. Also with the workstation. And uh, so far I just got the back wall, floor, and I got some piping going on here, as you can see. With the uh, sanded down straw technique. <clears throat> and uh, this right here is just... Uh, Kind of, I don't know, a slick sci-fi electrical box that I put together. And um, I'll kind of go into that more a bit later. Uh, explaining these two bad boys. But um, a little more on the dial. Um, usually I would do uh, a black coat first. But I was feeling a little lazy. And I just did a couple of couple of coats of the gray here. And uh, for, this video is off of, also for you guys, whether you're new or veterans. Um, you know, that quote unquote say that, uh, I'm not real good with my hands, you know, this, it's, it's, you know, you, you're not going to know it until you try, you know, all it takes is a little bit of, uh, ingenuity, some imagination, and, uh, you'd be surprised what you'll come up with. Um, a year or so ago, I probably would tell you, hey, I couldn't put a birdhouse together, and now I'm making, you know, thanks, to help to the YouTube community, I'm making some pretty cool things, so, don't sell yourself short, guys, get in there, make something cool, start off small, and, uh, just work your way up. And I hope this video helps. So um, that's that's what I'm working on as far as the dial is concerned. Like I said, it's, I'm in the real early process. Um, I have a couple of things that I picked up. You know, following the rule of you know always keeping your eyes open and never throwing anything away. Uh, these are just two pieces of foam that I I grabbed over uh, my girlfriend's house uh, for Christmas. I bought her um, one of those iPod dock radio things. And, um, you know, I just noticed that there was some cool foam inside the box and um, brought it home and kind of sat on it for a little bit. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. And last week I was just like, these are pretty cool. So I um, painted them the gray that I painted the uh, the dial. And I was just going to see how it works out, you know, trial by error. Um, now, and here's another example of um, kind of uh, always keeping your eyes peeled. This rectangular... Um, I'm sorry, triangle piece of wood here is I'm trying to make a, basically a monitor, okay, to sit up top, you know, something. Just let me put that in there. If you're getting the idea there, you know. Um, now they don't really, I don't think they sell triangular pieces of wood, so I got again. I was at my girlfriend's house and I noticed that this is going to be thrown away. Tangerine box, okay. Um, balsa wood, uh, pieces of pieces of the wood. 
Um, a lot of stuff to work with here, you know, so uh, I snatched it up, put it in my car, kind of just kept it there until I decided, you know, what I was going to do with it, grabbed it the other day and just took it apart. So just another example of, um, you know, just always keeping your eyes peeled. Um, a few days ago, I did, I, I posted a, uh, a pic on the dio structure page of my newly finished um, street recycling boxes. And let me just put those into focus. Boom. Boom. And uh, a few people were hitting me up asking me where I got them, how did I make them, this, that, and the other thing. And uh, so I just decided, you know, kind of gave me more of a, uh, a reason to finally uh, get off my ass and make a video. So um, basically, at any craft store, they sell bags of wood, small pre-packaged bags of wood that, you know, are in one or two shapes. Um, let me just give you an example. Boom. Okay. Boom. These are more like um, little square toothpicks that um, really have come in handy. Um, this bag pretty much contains shapes like this. Alright, they're just uh, flat pieces of wood paneling. And another bag that I got contained wood like this. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, you'll probably be able to see how I did it. I just kind of side by side here. <clears throat> So basically what you do is you take one of these panels, glue it on, alright, um, just kind of tweak it, maybe you want to add one to the side, like so, to give it that paneling effect. Um, as far as the um, handles are concerned, right there, I used, I just cut to size these little uh, pieces of uh, rectangular wood. Um, put it on there, glued it on, and then I did a paint, you know, I did uh, one or two coats of paint, I weathered it with, um, with black paint, give it that, uh, that beaten down weathered look, and these are just, you know, the, the signs are just, uh, printouts, you know, just printouts that I, I glued on, and, uh, what you want to do when you do glue on a printout to say, Anything that you're working on, try to get it down there real flat so it looks like a sign. You don't have anything peeling on the corners. So, after that's all said and done, um, I grabbed another uh, cool paint that I, um, I recommend. And I actually painted the, the back piping in the back that you see there is this um, shimmering silver metallic paint. And, you know, the, the cool thing about craft paint is that it's not going to break your bank. You know, dios and prop work, uh, little things like that that add to any ACBA shot. You know that it, it's a economically feasible hobby. It's not going to break the bank. You know, um, you know, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to try not to, to uh, retread old, you know, old ground already said ground. But um, uh, that that pink insulation foam that you get from you know Hobby Town is anywhere from between you know five ninety five for a sheet. And twenty dollars for one of those, you know, larger seat that's like, um, like eight to twelve feet long. So you know, even something eight to twelve feet long, it's it's not going to cost you more than twenty twenty one dollars. So, anyways, but basically, yeah, those are the ingredients that you are looking for if you want to add um, some electrical boxes to whatever. And um, and another example of just things that I grabbed. Um, you know, these, these were going to go in the trash. This was like white, kind of just foamy stuff that I just saw laying around and, uh, you know, grabbed it, painted it black, um, which is craft paint and, um, yeah, who knows, I'll try to incorporate it somehow into the dial if at all possible. And, you know, it, another thing is that, you know, when I first cut the pieces to the dial, I had some, you know, residual insulation foam just hanging out 
and uh, considering that I've never done any brick work, and you know, just by watching you know uh, Al's videos, figures in action, and Bob the Odd stuff, I I really wanted to you know try to tackle that, but not in such a you know a massive scale. So, um, all I did was grab if I can find it. I had this little piece right here. All right, no longer try to make this work without knocking a bunch of shit down but uh, you can see this is just extra insulation foam right nothing too crazy all right so all I did was just uh, oh, there goes my exacto knife all I did was just start off small you know I didn't want to get too crazy considering I never did any brick work so I just did a little something something as you can see uh, I wanted to give a kind of a broken down effect so I just removed one of the bricks chopped it up a little bit um, added that white kind of dusty effect and um, you know considering uh, Cyclops is a mutant extremist right now um, I kinda had added some of that good old uh, mutant hate on the on the uh, on the wall Mutants suck, God hates mutants, be human. So I thought that was a cool little touch. And uh, a week or so ago I posted a cool pic on, on the ACBA page that people were digging. So it was cool. I got what I wanted out of it. And that was a learning experience. Uh, this piping that you see right there is just um, it's a, a barbecue skewer that I painted silver. Just to kind of give it more, you know, just just to add li as much little detail as possible, you know, um, Google image, you know, walking down the street, just mentally, mentally, just take pictures, I guess, of your surroundings, and you'll be surprised what you come up with. Um, so yeah, that's that. And um, yeah, so let me just put this down. Wait. Oh, and as far as uh, the lab goes, yesterday I did make it down to Staples, and um, uh, as far as, you know, I was kind of, I really didn't know how I was going to attack, like, control panels, computer panels, stuff like that for, for the lab dial, so I just printed out some stuff off Google Image, went down to Staples, and uh, got these little cool things. Get some. All right. If you can check that out. All I did was save it to a Word document and uh, resized it. And uh, yeah, ready to go. I'm pretty sure this one reminds me of Star Trek: The Next Generation. I'm pretty sure that's Star Trek. -y. That's cool. Um, so I'm hoping it gets the I get the desired effect that I'm looking for, as far as you know, a adding it to this future panel here. Um, I'm sure maybe I can make the spare wood that I have into more panels. But what I'm gonna try to do, as far as this die is concerned, is make it as modular as I can. You know, um, as far as you know. The, um, like command center or a table or or something you know I don't I want I don't want everything just glued on or you know a, you know the the back is I'm going to put magnets in the back add a wall over here but I'm going to do my best to make it as modular as possible so I can switch it around and uh oh here's a now for a piping technique if you don't want to go the straw route um uh, I suggest like regular white big pens um and as far as the straw and the pens are concerned, I definitely suggest sanding them down first because paint does not want to stick to either of them. So sand it down. Uh, they're easy to cut. Just be careful. Don't slice off a finger. And uh, this one, this little piece right here, I had uh, residual left over, and I just painted it bronze. You get that effect. You know, looks like some weathered piping. And uh, But yeah. I really had a, I was kind of pressed for, for some piping a while back and I was just like, oh, I'm out of straws. So all I did was just take a big pen, cut it apart, 
and you're good to go. Like I said, always have those wheels turning. Use your imagination. Don't sell yourself short, guys. If I can do it, you can do it. And um, so, thanks for tuning in on uh, the first episode. I appreciate it. And um, I'll catch you on the page. Crispy.